Welcome back. As you can see, I have improved Arbal Firm Rocket, and I've done two test flights and it works very well. Um, but you have to know when to engage which stages. Um, I added some lights, uh, some less intense for the bottom and some more intense outward. Um, and you can see down here I have jet engines, and I'll show you what they do. So let's just start. I'll turn on SAS throttle 100% and ignition. Okay, you can see my thrust. The thrust of these jet engines are increasing. Once I get to 100, I'm going to lift off with the help of my SRBs and go. Okay, so for 10 kilometers, I'm just going to have it like this. Uh, of course, these will fall off before we get to 10 kilometers. But I'm going to keep these engines until they get to 10. And you can see I have I have my intake. These intake air. Um, and these do not use any oxidizer. Which is why if I look here. Only my fuel is going down very slowly too. Which is why these are so amazing for the first 10 to 20 kilometers of flight. It's awesome. Just to help your rocket get off the ground. It's, like be it's better than a solid rocket booster. I find. Um... And the only downside is that it doesn't use oxidizer, so you have leftover oxidizer. It's not really a downside, but it's not like they have. It's not like half uses oxidizer and half half uses uh, fuel. Just a whole thing uses fuel. So you can see that we're still going upward, and we are decelerating. But that's okay. That's what we want to be doing. Like we don't want to decelerate, but this is this is uh, um, going. Cor this is happening correctly. And at just below 10 kilometers, we are going to eject these, and we have our liquid uh, engines underneath. So in two kilometers, we're gonna eject them. One more kilometer. And in five, four, three, two, one, we're gonna eject and lower our thrust to about sixty percent. Then we're gonna wanna angle about five to ten degrees just to begin our gravity burn our gravity turn. And I wanna take a look at our apoapsis. You can see it is not decreasing in time, it's slowly increasing, and we want to keep that going. The reason why, uh, you can bring up your throttle a bit more now if you'd like, but now that we're entering the stratosphere, but I'm still going to keep mine at 60. Uh, it helps me conserve fuel. Uh, I usually go to around near 100% once we get into the mesosphere and exosphere. Uh, we still have tw it's 20 seconds to apoapsis. We want this to be around 40 to 50 or even a minute if you'd like. I usually get mine around 50 to a minute because this is this is actually very good of a this is a very good rocket for me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and right now I'm gonna turn uh, over 9 I'm gonna roll 90 degrees just so that when I uh, Detach these sides, they don't have any chance, they have almost no chance of hitting a rocket. Uh, and so, this will continue to go. Um, you can angle a bit more. Uh, yeah, so that's reaching 40, so I can angle down to about 60 degrees. I'd like to do. Um, I want to stay on my uh, 90 degree line. I was pitching. I think pitch. Yes, I was pitching off a, just slightly. Well, now it's uh, yaw, but before it was pitch. And we can go down even further, down to 45 degrees. Now that that's approaching a minute, T to a minute. Um, I'm actually closer to 40. Uh, and even go down even more to 30. And then I want to check on my fuel and... I'm going to go back over to here, and I want to go down to about maybe 10-ish degrees, just to keep, um, so that we're continuing to rise 
but we're not um, we're not really adding much time onto her thing, and we're about to detach right now. Uh, you see, I have few lines towards the center. Whoa, I think they bounced off my ship. Oh man, that was close. I think. Okay, so now our apoapsis is near space, and now we just want to go straight down to uh, nine to zero degrees. And I'm gonna roll back just because I'm used to being at the other angle, um, being rolled this way, opposed to the other way that we had just a second ago. And we're basically just gonna do this for another uh, kilometer per second of um, thrust of change in velocity. Uh, I usually add a maneuver here. Um, I'll see how much will take. And if you look, what's important is that if that takes, so that says it will take me a minute to burn, and I'm less than a minute to my apoapsis, which means that I'm going to need to burn slightly above that. So I'm going to burn at 5 degrees so that I'm still increasing my height or my apoapsis, so that the time until apoapsis stays about the same until we get this down. So that's at a minute left, but this is at, oh, and we can go full throttle now, by the way. Uh, I didn't do that. So this is about 50 seconds, and this is getting to 50 seconds now. So now we can go back down to the uh, uh, to the lateral. I just wanted our uh, time of that till apoapsis to catch up, or our uh, time of burn to catch up to our, our burn duration to catch up to our time until apoapsis. And uh, I can, I'm gonna actually cut my throttle now just to save a bit on this. So I know that I need 500 meters per second more. I'm gonna wait until I get to my apoapsis now. Um, and I'm going to do it there because that will be slightly less fuel if we do this at my apoapsis. Okay. And I'm going to aim. Now I want to actually follow the maneuver mode. Instead of going laterally, go straight on the blue dot and start around uh, just before the uh, node. And then you're going to follow that node for the whole time until it reaches your apoapsis and we now have a 250 meters per second to go 200 and we are I believe we're about to pass no we're not we're, we're about to pass a previous apoapsis um, and now you don't have to follow your blue marker anymore you can keep going laterally now and I'm gonna cut it here actually yeah and I'm gonna wait until I get to my apoapsis again it's because we're very close in orbit. You can see it's like maybe 10 meters, 20 meters per second off. Um, I want to check on our fuel. 498. Okay. And wait till our apoapsis should be 20 seconds. Okay. And any second now. So we're going to burn and. Okay, so our height right there is 76. We want to get about the same, 76, 75. Um, line laterally again because I shifted slightly over. And we're approaching the apoapsis in five seconds, so I'm going to start burning now at 100% throttle, uh, or near 100. And then I'm going to cut it when it gets uh, into the exosphere-ish. I'm just going to increase this until very slowly till it gets into space and I wanna um, cut, cut my engine so what is that? That's space that's space and that's that for getting in orbit with this so we have 478 fuel in this thing we have none left in this which is kind of a shame because we could I would wish that we could gener uh, jettison it, but we can't. Um, I could move my fuel closer up here, but then I would still need to have this empty fuel tank for my engine. And I was thinking for a little while to put my engine in here, but I decided that I'm not going to do that because it doesn't really work very well. And now we're going to EVA 
Um, and I'm going to take EV Airport. Uh, this is over curb insures. Keep the data board. Then EVA again. EVA report. Over curb in grasslands. Keep the data board. Um, I'm not going to do the one over water because we've had so many of those that we're actually, it doesn't give us any science. So I got grasslands and shores. That's it. Uh, if we had a polar orbit, we could have gotten a bit more. Uh, we went over the desert, we could have gotten a bit more. I don't know about that. Maybe we would for mountains. Um, so let's check our fuel. So we have 478 liquid fuel, and I'd like to switch over to my other um, rockets now to see how much fuel they had. These are the ones that I didn't show you. These are just my test flights. So 478 for the one that we just flew. This one has... 475. So we did better than this one, and this is my first. This is my first attempt, uh, in which I got to space. And uh, and then my other one, right here. I believe this is my other one. Uh, switch to. This might be. I think it is. Right. Let me see. Uh. Yes. Okay. This is. Other one, and that's 256. Okay, this was the very first one that I. This was the first one that I did. Uh, no, no, this was the one that I got into orbit with uh, a while ago. So this isn't. That, that's not it. Um, but this is switch to. I believe this is it. This is the one that had the most fuel in. Slightly more than the one that we had. We had four four seventy eight. This is four eighty six. So uh, we're probably going to end up using this one for what we do. But since I'd like us to have a complete journey, I'm going to use the one that we uh, flew up. Okay, so I want to take an EVA report. See if I can get one for over mountains, uh, highlands. Okay, board. Um, and I'm going to get ready for the desert, or plains, or whatever they are. Uh, let's orient this more prograde, just so that I can see him. So, you can see I got quite a lot of uh, rockets that have plenty of fuel for other planets, really, in orbit. So, we're pretty, uh... We're doing pretty well with that. Let's see if I can EVA report now. Uh, Kerbin's Deserts. Yes. Board. And I believe that's that, right? He's got the deserts. Snow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, That's that should be good. I don't see the Easter egg. Usually, sometimes you can, like, actually spot it. Like, it's a pixel or something. But I do not see it. Let's do an IVA. I don't think I've done one of those for a while. Or if even if all at all. This might be like the set third one that we've done. Cool. It's nice. Okay, and let's exit that. Uh, so that is... Let's go back to our rockets. So that was definitely, um, it's definitely good that we found a, uh, a good rocket for this. I think we're that one, right? Switch to, I think we're this one. Probably, yeah, that would make sense. Uh, are we? We are this one. Yes, this is us. Okay. So we only had eight more fuel in the other one, in the one that I got past in. So this is good. I don't know where we would like to go because Minmus, we already went to that. We already went to the moon. Do we want to really go to another planet? I could try. I could see how to do this. So where's the phase angle of Duna? Duna's phase angle is like 120. Okay, I gotta. I'm gonna have to. 
this okay so let let's let's do that let's uh let's go to duna we totally have enough fuel to get to duna right 478 fuel is definitely enough to get to duna um i know it's not the best because of the um because we don't have a nuclear engine but I think we have enough fuel, so I'm going to quick save, and let's try and go to Duna. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to uh, go to the Space Center, just put something on the ground or whatever. Um, let's just get like a capsule. Okay. Uh, to the launch pad. Oh, I can't just like have a rocket. Okay, um, close to here. Vehicle assembly building. And let's just get a, actually I can just use a probe. And I'm going to put a little tiny solar panel on it. There we go. And save like, I don't know why I supposed to say that, but let's launch it. So, basically, what we have, what you do to get to Duna, is if I look out here, you can see me. This is Kerbin, and then you have Duna here. To get to Duna, you need to burn at sunset in your Kerbin orbit, and I believe sunset, or maybe it's sunrise. No, it's sunset in your Kerbin orbit. When Duna is, and the angle between you, Kerbal, and Duna is 60 degrees. That's more like 120. I mean, not 60, 40, uh, 50-ish degrees, 40, 45, 45 degrees. Um, so if I look here, that would be 90 that would be 45. So Duna would have to be here in retrospect to me. So more commonly, Duna would probably be around there and I would be more like there. Or more, not more commonly, more specifically. I like all the lines that you can see, it's crazy. So we need to speed up time. Since we're a probe on the launch pad, we can just speed up time as much as we want. And we're, um, so I can speed it up a thousand times. Since we're in orbit, we can't speed it up very fast. I, I really like how I can just like watch this spin around. Although, they like turn around and then stop and then stop again. Like, are they aiming at my satellites or something? Like, maybe, but I got it. So if I look out here, see, Kerb is not even moving. Okay, this is only a thousand times. If I do it a hundred thousand times, you can see Moho is moving. We're kind of moving, or 10,000 times. Let's go to 100,000 times. This is the fastest you can go currently. Moho is moving pretty fast. It's definitely enough for Moho. Um, and you see, it's like making mobile orbits. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to continue to turn this curb in. And so, like, I'm pointing it towards the sun. So if I slow it down now, you can see that is a 90 degree angle okay that would be maybe 50 degrees or so so I need I need to get it a bit closer I need 45 so if that's it's more like 60 actually so let's get 45 would be like that so let's do that and is that like 45 ish? Let's see if that's uh, 90 degrees, then Duna should be 45 degrees. That's like 49 or so degrees that we have right now. Let's uh, go a bit closer and let's try that. So. Let me check if that looks like 45 degrees. If, that's, if it's 90 degrees like that, then 45 degrees, 
still kind of before 45 degrees. I'm like 47 right now. So let's speed that up. Okay. I think that's 45 degrees. Let's check. So that's 90 degrees. And that is probably. If that's. Mm, still off. Okay. In which case, time warp again. I think we're actually a bit more off. I think I have a good way to figure out if it's at a 45 degree angle. Right there. I know it's at a 45 degree angle because if I look at the lines of the orbits, that's 90 degrees, okay? That's 90 degrees. 45, you can see there's a line, a line, and a line. That's in the center of the line. So now, we can switch off to, which rocket is it? This one, right? I think it's that one. Let's check. Probably. Is it you? You have 478 units of fuel. I think this is it. Let's see. We should 86. Nope, that's the wrong one. Okay, how about you? Switch to. See, I can't even tell which one's which because I don't know how much fuel they have just from looking at them. This one has 475. Nope. Uh, map. Maybe it's that one. Uh, it's no, it's not that one. It would be this one. Okay, switch to. I, this is probably it. Okay, let's see. Is this it? It is, I believe. Yes, okay. So, it's sunrise. Uh, it's more like noon, actually. I don't know why I would say that sunrise. It kind of looks like England or Scotland. Can I do any new? Probably not. EV report. Shores. Keep. Board. Uh, dump. Okay. Cool. Whatever. So, now I'm going to, I'm going to wait until sunset, I'll cut until I get the sun, I, I'll cut until I have my, my maneuver all set up to get to do now. So you guys, around the periapsis, like sunset-ish. Okay guys, so I got this to work, and it's ridiculous, I, mean, I have to get this exact, which is why RCS would be pretty helpful. So you see, I'm the next time I go around, almost exactly at my periapsis, I'm gonna prograde and point slightly towards Kerbin, I believe. And then I'm gonna end up in a slingshot around the moon, a very close one, not close enough to do that much science, but close enough to get some science. Um, and then we'll go on escape trajectory, and we'll end up in orbit around sun and after 50 days we're gonna have an encounter with Duna but like I said we have to get this perfectly exact or else this would never work so let's right now just line up with because you can see already that this is just moving around shaking around and if I zoom out it changes it drastically so if I so it doesn't it doesn't show me that it's changing it, but it's changing how much that I need to have. So I'm gonna go exit my map. I need to turn off SAS, and I want to find our mark. Find the marker should be I think somewhere in blue, or might be I don't know where it is, but I'll find it. There it is. Okay. So. It's over here. Ugh, we're swinging past it because I can't control this thing very well. But, oh man, it's, it doesn't have very good controls, which is why. Let's turn on our lights. You can kind of see stuff, but hardly. Um, and we're not gonna. How much does that drain my uh, charge? Not by much, okay. But, yeah, we need to focus on getting on our marker 
So, as you can tell, things are incredibly, um, uh, what's the word, unstable the farther out or the closer you are to something. So, me just changing my gravity just a little, smallest amount near your Kerbin could potentially change my apoapsis around the sun by billions of meters by just one meter per second it could potentially change it by that much so you have to get everything perfectly aligned and let's get that to 90 come on not 91 there we go and whoops it's going below Okay, and there we go. So now I want to fast forward. How much time do you want to fast forward? Um, 25 minutes. So let's do 50 times acceleration. And 20 minutes from now. Uh, seven or six, 15 minutes from now. So, I need to think about this. This burn is probably going to take me, um, I don't know. Uh, well, probably maybe a minute and 10 seconds of burn. So, 70 seconds of burn. Um,. We might end up running out, so let's do it at a minute before we're going to start burning. And, okay. Nine minutes, eight minutes, seven, six, five, four, three, slow it down. Two, two minutes and, and five, four, three, two, one. We're going to slow it down, get on our marker. Let's do that. Need to be on a marker at all times. Okay. And. Oh, don't overshoot the marker. Come on. Okay, right here. Okay, so begin burn now. So, we're doing full throttle. Like I said, it's going to take quite a while, but I'm pretty sure we might run out of fuel. We might not. But it's better to be safe than sorry. And actually, yeah, we definitely won't run out of fuel. So let's wait maybe, I don't know, 10, 10 more seconds. Let's wait till it gets to 20 seconds left. And we will burn. And let's make our burn. Okay. So I cannot, it's, it's, I, it's better to undershoot than to overshoot because then I have to turn around, do all that stuff since I don't have RCS because I just chose not to put RCS on because I figured, okay, probably we won't need it. So, uh, I think this is, I think this might end up working well. And want to cut it very soon. Cut it. Uh, I need to get back on my marker. And 
I'm going to cut it right there. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that maneuver. And we're going to look at what we have now. Turn off SAS. And let's see what we have. So, we have something that is pretty close to Duna. Look at that. That's, that's pretty close. So, why don't we... So that's close by... That's, that's actually very close. Like, as in a potential... Uh encounter if it re... I think so, right? It's just 277. Uh, well, actually, no. That is, that's, that, is, that is quite high. We need to get down to, I think, 50,000. No, not 50,000. What am I... Actually, yeah, I think I think around 50,000. 70,000. 50,000 would make sense. Maybe 70,000. But yeah, okay, so let's go to our ship and turn on some lights. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, no, we don't need to do that. So let's look at where we would do this. We would probably edit it at our periapsis, our solar periapsis. Well, actually, no, let's let's edit it somewhere on our trajectory here. So let's say, how long is that? And how long until, how long is it till I get to there? Okay, that's way too close. How about till there? Okay, two minutes, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you find a way to edit this to get these closer together. See what happens if I prograde. Seem to be coming closer. Um, I think they are, but they might start getting coming apart now. So let's try changing the direction, getting farther apart. Let's try prograding more. Uh, and getting closer. How close is that now? Quite close, and should be an encounter pretty soon. There we go. Encounter with Duna. Let's uh, increase that a bit. It's a periapsis of what? What's the periapsis say? Periapsis of 19 million. Let's try and get that lower to about at least 10 million. Can we do? Periapsis. 45 million now we went right get it back down to the uh, yeah that's good 20 million okay so and now it would be affecting and we're gonna do that in a minute and a half see how just look at that 19 meters per second that less than one meter per second would have adjusted uh, millions of thousands of kilometers hundreds of thousands of kilometers quickly so it's just gives you a sense of how much uh, how important that kind of stuff is so how important being 100 percent precise is and turn on SAS okay one minute it's gonna take like maybe five seconds let's do this at T minus five seconds so let's speed it up okay 50 40 3 Two, let's slow it down. And let's get let's cross your fingers, guys. Cross them. And five, four, three, two, one. Let's begin now. And cut throttle. See what we have. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Do we have it? Or is it off? We probably do have it. Um, we do, I believe. Let's get rid of that. Turn SS off. And we have a Duna encounter. Hooray of 21 million. So see, 2 million. I was 0 0.3 meters per second off, and I'm 2 million meters, 2,000 kilometers off in that. That's just insane, you see? Okay, so let's... So now we're traveling to the moon. Uh, when will it be day? It should be day soon, right? Day will be in a couple minutes, in like a minute. Nah, yeah, in like a couple minutes. Let's speed it up till we get to daytime. Um... 
So our moon periaps is going to be pretty low, but we're not going to, uh, it's not going to be low enough for us to get a low moon orbit uh, EVA. So is this, is this high Kerbin? Yeah, okay, so 0.1, it's better than 0, I guess, board. And I'm just scared to even have SAS and, uh, well, not, I'm, it's not that I'm scared to have SAS. I'm scared to have my f even a single engine on my ship right now. So we're bringing this thing to Duna, this whole thing to Duna. Let's quick save it. Good. Okay. Quick saved. Um, yeah. Cool. Let's do a crew report. Let's see how much that's worth. Okay. Crew reporting in from space. I don't think I have that. Have had that one before. Oh, you guys just want to send that home. Very round. Yeah. Let's just send it home. How much electricity did that does that cost? Okay. And done. Recharging. Cool. Let's do it again. Just to use up all this. Report send. And transmission sent. Cool. Let's do another one. How much is that now? 0.3. Crew boarding in from space. Let's transmit that. And waiting for electric charge. Continuing to wait for electric charge. And is it done yet? How much more does it need? Ah, uh, done. Okay. Let's uh, let's. Whoops. Ah, observed materials bay. Let's see what how much that is. Twenty five, and we get twenty percent. Um. I feel like I would really like it, squad, if you could make it like EVAs and crew reports make it like EVAs. Um, that this stuff you can do multiple things, or maybe from material study, but not for goo, because maybe material study is more advanced, or maybe you have an even more advanced version of material study, which I haven't found yet. In which case, you don't really have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to me, anyways. But in which case, my statement would be irrational. Or rash, I guess you could say. So we'll keep that for now. Um, and I guess we're just gonna wait till moon till we intercept with the moon. So it's gonna be in how long? In an hour and a half. Okay. Let's accelerate that. Now it's one hour. Twenty minutes, ten minutes, and we're beginning to accelerate to the moon. Okay, let's uh, go on EVA. I don't want to let go or anything because I'm afraid of accidentally just pushing into the ship the very slightest with my jet pack, and then just messing up the whole thing. Crew port. Keep the data. Um, let's send crew report. Keep. Um, let's send it because it's one hundred percent transmission. Nice. How much is it worth now? Two point one. That's still still science. And we will. Wait for it to okay. Yeah, now we'll send it, and we'll see how much it's worth now. It's worth 0.8. Okay, send that. Not enough electric charge and charging up. And there you go. Done. How much is it worth now? 0.3, we'll just keep that. Okay. Well, we can send it actually, so. Crew port, override, yes. I'll wait till that charges up to about 40, I guess. 
Or no, I'll wait till it charges up to 30. Then I'll send it again. And send. Or transmit, I guess you could say. Well, I guess that's more correct. It is more correct. Uh, is that point 0.1 or 0? Okay, point 0.1. Send that to. Even though there's literally no point. No, yeah, we'll keep it because the next one would be probably 0. So it's better to just keep it, I guess. So let's speed up time. Getting closer to the moon. And our orbit is still countering, doing a good. I just want to make sure about this kind of stuff, you know. Coming pretty close to the moon, guys. Is that Bob Crater? That is not, but this is Bob Crater. Cool. Hi, Bob Crater. Hello. Hi. Yay. And now we are leaving the moon. Goodbye, moon. Thanks for the slingshot. Didn't really help too much, though, but it did help. And now we have our Duna encounter with Duna. So let's do that. And we're in far Kerbin orbit. I guess still high Kerbin orbit, whatever. Let's. Okay, now we can do a new one. Because we're not even in. Oh, look, it's in Mega Miles. Cool, where's Kerbin? There's Kerbin. Goodbye, Kerbin. I don't even see Min Miss. Min Miss is probably like. I think Min Miss is over here somewhere. I don't see it. Mm. It's so small. Uh, where is it, though, actually? It is is over there so mid miss can't see it well the moon is minuscule almost the size of mid miss so there's no way I'd be able to bye guys say goodbye and then it's EVA ah ha ha I would be scared I would be kinda scared to EVA this deep in space 80 you feel kinda small right now hope you know where you're going yeah 50 transmission um, if we brought back 88, or we transmitted 50%, um, check our resources. Can we not do that? Let's, I'm just going to hit keep, but I want to see our resources, so, oh, of course not, okay, so, the EV report board, resources, um, what about uh, temperature reading? Okay, cannot do in the current moment. Uh, let's see. Crew report. Yes. You record the crew's assessment of the situation. Let's transmit that because that's 100% nice. I wonder if pointing towards Kerbin gives you more. Like, if you if I just pointed towards it right now. I'm not going to, because that would affect my orbit. Look at my speed. That's pretty fast. It doesn't seem, though, like it would be... Hmm. I don't know. It just seems kind of weird. 10 kilometers per second. But I don't know how we would have gotten that fast. Maybe... Oh, because they're falling towards the sun right now, I think. Um. So let's check our views of stored data. It's 50%. Let's transmit it and keep, 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 keep. Okay, so we'll transmit that and we'll get 44 signs. And then I'll go on EVA again. See how much it's worth now. It is now worth 52. Okay, so that was worth it. Keep data. And we'll board. We'll transmit it again once we regenerate enough. Um, Crew report, or no, uh, review stored data. And let's transmit right now. Getting, we're going to have like a, at least a thousand signs, if not more, when we get back home. If we get back home, of course. 
but it would st it's still like I don't know kind of cool okay so now can we do another crew report because we yeah okay so crew report keep data actually no not keep it crew report override yet transmit the crew report that's what we're going to really be transmitting is that And we'll just wait till we have electric charge. And so I'll just, um, I'll just keep doing this for a while. And I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.